So yesterday, we arrived in Nebraska. What's going on in here? During school. <clears throat> All right, they're converting the table right now, so you guys will be able to use that. Okay. Right. So, yeah? Hmm? What's going on? This is school. This isn't my real work. This is it. It's not messy like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Just wearing ties and stuff the math book. Alright. So you guys probably should get up and get dressed. We drove last night till probably about um, one in the morning, I think, and arrived at a Walmart that has RV parking. So that was pretty cool. And it's a very uh, windy, foggy day out today. So I just went out and got our first drone footage of our trip, of this trip since we left Colorado Springs. And um, it did pretty well. It's definitely, this is a lot lighter drone. So there's quite a bit of wind out today. So you could tell it does not like the wind as much, but it did a pretty good job. Uh, then, then, you, then, then you said it, and right here it starts flying high. It's it's it goes and opens the door and goes flying off. How would it open the door though? <laughs> His hands will come coming out. He doesn't have little hands, this little guy. It's he does look kind of cute though, doesn't they? Look at he's got a little face. Well, I know where his so hands are. So the name of this right this is a bus life aerial view. Is our sky Daddy, view? Is it? I'm brushing your hair. <laughs> what her? <laughs> okay. So our last drone, of course, is so humongous. But this Kira, let Arwen brush it just Kira. folds up into a fine little package, Ow. like so. This is really what I like a lot about it, is that. And we're almost done. Do you have a hair last time? Yes. Today looks like a braid day, huh? Where? Then there's me and Kira sitting over here. <laughs> All, right. All right, so me, Ethan, and Elisha are heading into Walmart. We go this way, guys. Um, Julie's gonna make Swedish pancakes this morning, so we need to go get some maple syrup. Yeah. 
Yeah. Are we out? Uh, close. Yes. Daddy, look at this. It's like as flat as a pancake. Always check the ingredients. Ingredients. Brown sugar. And it's made out of pure cane sugar, so... And it's non-GMO, which is important. Maple syrup? Syrup's over here. Yeah, we'll see what roll that one. Right there with maple syrup. Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. I'm right saying something like this. Right yeah. here. No, that's that's not maple syrup. It's this sick. is maple syrup. Real maple syrup. That's sugar. Lysha, you want to get that? <laughs> Are we getting low on honey? Uh, I think so. What's this stuff up here? Raw and unfiltered. Hmm. Thy word is sweeter than honey. Psalms 119, 103. Raw and unfiltered honey. Made by American bees. So these aren't illegal immigrant bees. These are American bees. Give it to us raw and wiggling. Okay, so all of our shopping is done. Walk in the balance beam. Okay, jump up and do the splits in the air. Hello, y'all. <laughs> Swedish pancakes is super easy. It's one cup of flour, three eggs, uh, one and a half cups of milk, and one fourth of a cup of sugar, and then just a half a teaspoon of salt. Usually I like to put half of my milk in first and then mix it, and then the other half of the milk because um, Otherwise, the flour wants to float on top and then you get clumps. So, that's a good point. Let me see. Careful. Like, what are you going to do when you hit the wall? Oh. Very good. That is a backflip if I've ever seen one.
so we are on our way to the town of North Platte in Nebraska, and we're gonna go visit the home of Buffalo Bill Cody. Nice like three hours kind of out of our way because we thought hey let's go see buffalo bill's ranch i mean he's a historical figure and um it opens next week when we're not here is when they're gonna open so uh we're gonna still go and walk around the grounds and if someone asks us silly we'll just say hey we drove three hours can we please just at least walk around on the grass Anyway, it looks pretty nice, so it'll be a nice relaxing walk, if anything. This is the main house, and it appears he had this huge, beautiful barn. there's a natural spring that flows through the cellar and the cold water they could place their you know milk jugs and stuff like that in there fruit and vegetables and it would keep it cold all throughout the summer and then it says that they used it for uh, storm a storm shelter, shelter. yeah cool. It looks 
looks like a waterfall over there. Yeah. Like, you know what I think? Huh. I think you could hook up maybe a horse or a mule or goat or something like that to this. Oh. And then it would push or pull it in a circle and it would grind maybe whatever you wanted to grind up. Or maybe you would put, you would pour off and some then kind of seed a, or yeah. something. Like yeah. And then they put like a sack or something underneath yeah. to catch it. Oh, pretty. <laughs> My cute little girl. Mwah. See, Kira is a dandelion kind of girl, and Arwen likes the pink little, what are they, blooms from the bushes, so just reflects their personality Careful. a little. Me, myself, I'm a daisy kind of girl. What kind of girl are you, Shane? I'm not. <laughs> what kind of man are you? Like, like a rose a coffee, tulip? Coffee kind of man. Oh, like coffee beans? That's right, the smell of coffee beans. <laughs> All right, so we're walking up to Cody North Cabin. It's like a little sod house here. Buffalo over here. Okay, we are done here at Buffalo Bill's Ranch and we're gonna head back to the bus and get something to eat. And we just wish that you have a great day. Last one to the bus is a dirty rotten egg.